The purpose of these videos is to orient you to what components look like and how you act on them. If you haven't yet viewed the Watch Me First video, please do that first as it lets you know what to expect. As you read in Chapter 5, the MVivo interface consists of four areas. The navigation view groups the elements of your project together. Each area provides access to the components stored there. The list view comprises a list of the contents of each area within the navigation view. Detail views display the contents of components when you have them opened in tabbed windows. And finally, the menu tabs and their associated ribbons provide access to different functions, just like in other Windows programs. In this video, we show you the default layout of the screen and the workings of each area and some of the ways the interface can be customised. The four main areas of the MVivo interface are the navigation view, displaying down the left hand side, the list view currently displaying near the top of the screen, the detail view at the bottom, and the menu tabs and their associated ribbons across the top. The navigation view is displayed down the left hand side of the NVivo interface and provides access to the different areas of your projects. Currently we have the sources area highlighted so the folders pertaining to sources are listed at the top left of the screen. When we choose a different navigational area, different folders become available accordingly. In addition, we can choose the folders area at the bottom of the navigation view, which lists all folders from any of the navigational areas together in one long list. This means that we don't have to keep going backwards and forwards between different navigational areas to find what we are looking for. If we need more space on the screen, we can hide the navigation view temporarily or we can turn it off completely if we don't need it. The contents of folders are displayed in lists. Here we're looking at the interviews folder so the list view shows us all of the interview transcripts stored in this folder with columns relating to information about each source. The default columns available in each folder differ according to type. For example, in the annotations folder, we have different columns available from when we're in the queries, results, or node folder. However, we can customize the columns that are available from the view main menu. For example, when we're looking at nodes, it's often useful to have the description column available so I'm just choosing this one and if I move it up then I can have it display next to the name column. By default the list view is organized alphabetically however clicking on any column header will sort the list accordingly. If I want to export information from a list view all I need to do is to right click on it and choose the export option. Choosing to export the list will save the information in a spreadsheet that can be opened in Microsoft Excel or another similar application. Double clicking on a component in a list view opens up that component and displays its content in the detail view. I can open several detail views of the same type or indeed I can choose to open detail views showing different types at the same time. Each detail view opens up in a separate tab which I can then flick between. If I want to see the contents of more than one detail view at the same time then I can undock. I do this by right clicking on the tab and choosing to undock which brings that detail view in its own floating window. If I do that with several detail views, then I can choose to see them side by side. 
There are various ways that I can customise the detail view. For example, here I am looking at a source, and from the view main menu, I can ask to see the coding stripes, which will show me the coding that has been so far achieved on this source. If I'm in a node, for example, these are all the references that have been so far coded at the node balance, then down the right hand side, there are different tabs where I can visualize the content in different ways. The summary tab, for example, gives me a frequency overview of the coding. The reference tab, which is the default, is showing me the actual qualitative data coded. And then I can choose to see different types of qualitative data one by one in these three tabs, text, audio and video. At the top of the screen are the menu tabs and their associated ribbons. Many of the functions accessible from these menu tabs are also accessible by right-clicking on components, but it's particularly useful to become familiar with the file main menu, which provides access to application options, which relate to your whole NVivo installation, and also to project properties, which allow you to change aspects uh, relating to this particular project. As we've seen, there are many ways in which the NVivo interface can be customised. Most of these are available through the View main menu. So becoming familiar with this is a useful early exercise when you're getting started with using NVivo. In addition, become familiar with right clicking because this allows access to different actions that can be taken on components. And right clicking in different places will allow access to different types of action.